Nally is cancer free. Does no longer need any treatment. Oh, <laughs> hi guys. <laughs> I'm here at the radiation um, department. I'm getting a consultation. My doctor is Dr. Muenza and I'm just waiting for him. I met the other resident doctor and he kind of gave me the jits of what it's about and what I need to do. But I'm gonna meet my doctor now and he's gonna tell me the details. I just left my consultation for radiation and I don't know what's gone into me. Like. I guess it's the fact that everything's just really new again. It kind of brings me back to the days when I was newly diagnosed. It's a new pavilion, new department, new staff, new people, and they just treat you like, you know, they welcome you, which is a good thing. They're super nice and they treat you like you're a brand new cancer patient, which I am, but it just like, it was so weird as soon as I left the building like it hit me and I just started crying I just still can't believe I have to go through all this and I know everyone says radiation is an easy breeze but the doctor gave me a lot of information about it today and even though there's not like it's not painful and it doesn't cause immediate side effects there's still there's still a lot to it that's like dangerous. The fact that, you know, it actually is something that can cause cancer. So we're like treating my cancer with something that can cause different cancers. The way he explains it is that right now radiation is prevention, right? It's kind of to prevent reoccurrence. So they say that the chances that my breast cancer comes back are higher than the chances that the radiation is going to give me other cancers such as bone cancer, blood cancer, lung cancer. But they say that the risks are low. But still, what does that mean, you know? Like, what are they doing to my body? What radiation does exactly is that it burns your DNA. It damages your DNA. It damages your cells permanently. That's some strong stuff and like the early symptoms are like my skin can be burnt, like a sunburn, can cause fatigue, um, a slight like stretchiness of the skin, this change of texture of the skin, but like long term effects are apparently it damages my lungs slightly, but that I won't personally feel anything unless I'm considered what he called uh, a professional athlete or something that they notice that has an effect otherwise if someone does like a CT scan and checks out my insides then they would notice oh that patient did radiotherapy because her lungs are damaged like that's just crazy to me the fact that they're burning like my DNA and my cells the good ones and the bad ones but the thing is we don't even know if there's any bad ones Oh, it's just, it was just again a lot of information to take and I didn't like the fact that I, you know, it was all new and hearing all these new information was, was really scary. Meeting a new doctor was really scary. And you would think that I'd be used to it by now, right? You would think that, that I'd be fearless. But that's not true. I'm scared. I'll admit it. I'm really scared. Hi, it's Tuesday, April 22nd, and it's been a while since I spoke about anything about my treatments because I'm waiting to do radiation. And today I came to the radiation information session, and I have my kit because everything's really new to me and I kind of hate that everything's new because I thought I was master of all breast cancer treatments. <laughs> no. But now everything's new so I'm learning about like the side effects and how the treatments are gonna be. And they had a whole PowerPoint presentation, this information session. It was pretty helpful and they showed us around. So 
It is my new mission to let you guys know exactly how radiation is going to be like, even though I'm learning with you. So if you read my blog post below, I'm going to let you know a little bit how the treatments are going to go and about the side effects, side effects that we discussed today. But of course, I'm still waiting for my first appointment where they're going to do a CT scan and they're going to position me in a position where I'm going to have to stay in for five weeks. Well, obviously not five weeks straight, but every time I come in. So I'll try my best to give you guys a heads up, break the ice for those who haven't done radiation yet. And after that, I'll be done forever. <laughs>